In this video, we want to do a question related to L'Hopital's rule. Find A and B such that the limit of sine of 2x over x to the 3 plus a plus b over x to the 2 as x approaches 0 equals 0. The first thing that we have to do here is to do a common denominator between these expressions, between sine of 2x over x to the 3 and a and b over x to the 2. Why we do a common denominator? Because we want to have a fraction. And then we can use L'Hopital's rule. So it makes sense to do a common denominator in the bracket. The common denominator is x to the 3. Then numerator is sine of 2x plus a times x to the 3 plus bx as x approaches 0. Attention, we want to find the values of a and b such that this limit equals 0. So the limit exists and it equals 0. Attention, if you want to find this limit by direct substitution, if you plug in 0, the denominator is 0 and the numerator is sine of 0 which is 0, a times 0 is also 0, and b times 0 is 0. So this limit is in the form of 0 over 0, which is an indeterminate form. And because it's in the form of 0 over 0, we can use L'Hopital's rule for that. If we apply L'Hopital's rule for finding this limit, Based on the Ropilar rule, we have to take derivative of numerator and denominator separately. Derivative of denominator is simply 3x to the 2. And derivative of numerator is 2 cos 2x. Remember, derivative of sine is cosine. Derivative of sine of 2x is cosine 2x. And derivative of the inside is 2. Derivative of 2x is 2, which I put it in the front. So the derivative of sine of 2x is 2 cosine 2x. The derivative of ax to the 3 by the power rule is 3 ax to the 2 and the derivative of bx is b. x approaches here. Now if we plug in 0 for x to find the limit, we want to see if we can find the limit by direct substitution. The denominator is 0 because 3 times 0 is 0. And because the denominator is 0, the numerator should also be 0. Attention again, the limit exists. This limit exists. When a limit exists, if the denominator is 0, numerator should be also 0. Otherwise, the limit does not exist. We want to have indeterminate form 0 over 0. If you have a non-zero, if the numerator is non-zero, when we plug in zero here, because the denominator is zero, non-zero over zero, let's say we have something like two over zero, this goes to infinity, which means that the limit does not exist. So because by substituting zero, the denominator is zero, the numerator should also be zero when we plug in zero in numerator. Let's see what happens if we plug in 0 for x in numerator. If we substitute 0 in the numerator, we get this. 2 cosine 0, plus 2 times 0 is 0, plus 3a times 0 to the 2, which is 0, plus b. It should be equal to 0. Cosine of 0 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2, so 2 plus b equals 0. And from this equation, b is negative 2. So the value of b is negative 2. So far, we have found the value of b. Now that we make sure by this value, only by this value. This is the only value that makes the numerator 0. When b is negative 2, the
the numerator of this fraction is zero. Now we apply L'Hopital's rule again. And why we are allowed to apply L'Hopital's rule for finding this limit again? Because we know that this limit is zero over zero. And when we have zero over zero in a limit, we are allowed to use L'Hopital's rule. The derivative of the denominator is 6x and the derivative of numerator would be negative 4 sine 2x plus 6ax and remember b is negative 2 and the derivative of a number derivative of a constant is 0. Now if we substitute 0 again here for finding the limit 0 makes the denominator 0 also 0 makes numerator 0 because if we plug in 0 for x here sine of 0 is 0 6a times 0 is also 0 still we have 0 over 0 which is an indeterminate form but we can apply L'Hopital's rule for the third time if we take the derivative of negative 4 sine 2x it would be negative 8 cosine 2x the derivative of 6ax is 6a and the derivative of 6x is 6. Let me explain you why the derivative of negative 4 sine 2x is negative 8 cosine 2x. Remember the derivative of sine is cosine. So the derivative of sine 2x is cosine 2x. But because we take the derivative of the inside, the derivative of 2x is 2. That 2 multiplies by this negative 4 and so we get negative 8 as coefficient. Now, if we substitute 0, denominator is 6. It's a constant. But numerator, if we plug in 0, would be negative 8 times cosine 0. So we have negative 8 cosine 0 plus 6a. So we substitute 0 in numerator. This should be equal to 0. Why? Because look at here. The denominator is 6, is non-zero. And we want this limit, look at here, look at the question. We want to find A and B such that the value of this limit equals 0. So here, when we substitute 0 for x in numerator, the 0 should make all of this fraction equal to 0. And for this, we need the numerator to be 0. Now if we solve this equation here, we have negative 8 times cosine 0 which is 1 plus 6a equals 0. If you move negative 8 to the other side, we have 6a equals 8 and from here a is 8 over 6 or 4 over 3. So if a equals 4 over 3 and b equals negative 2, then the limit of this expression when x approaches 0 equals 0. I hope you liked this video and see you in the next videos.